Hey everyone, this is Brian Marino with Apex Software. And in this video, I'm gonna go over some tips and tricks on measuring and drawing angles in Apex Sketch version seven. Before I get started, if you have any questions or comments on this, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I will be monitoring that. If you don't wanna watch the whole video, if you look at the description, there will be uh, hyperlinks you can click on to skip to specific parts of the video. So if you're looking for something specific, check the description. You should be able to just click and go straight to that point if you're looking for that. Also, if you know anyone that would be interested in this, feel free to like, share, and or subscribe so you don't miss out on any update. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into drawing some angles. So you'll see two scenarios here on the screen that I run into quite often. The top one is a bay window. The bottom one is a larger angle. We will use something like a miter gauge to measure. If you don't know what a miter gauge is, in the description I have a link to a miter gauge so you can check that out. If you're interested, you can purchase one. What they do is it allows you to measure an angle in the field so you know what that angle is so you're not having to measure the rise and run. So again, if you're interested in that, check the description. There'll be a link to a miter gauge so at least you know what it is and kind of where you can get one. So the first example we'll go over will be this bay window. So looking at this bay window, just to explain what we're looking at here, we have a bay window. We're showing here on screen, it's two feet to the left and it's two feet down. And that's what this angle is. So when we draw this angle for the bay window, we're not going to need to know the length of the wall necessarily. You can measure it to confirm that what you are drawing is correct. But the main two measurements we're going to want is the rise and the run. So this two and this two here or be, will be the two numbers we want. I'm gonna go ahead and just click and drag and move this over to the left and we'll draw this off to the side. So I'm gonna enter draw mode and I'll move over a couple feet, tap enter and we'll go three right enter. At this point, we're at that first angled wall for the bay window. So according to the measurements there on the left, it's two feet up and then two feet right to draw this bay window. Now, you could do two right, two up, or two up, two right. It doesn't matter the order you do it in. We'll go ahead and do two up first. So what I did is I went ahead and tapped two on the keyboard and tapped the up arrow, but I did not press enter. So the next measurement we have is two feet to the right. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that next. I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to tap my right arrow. And you'll notice on screen there where I'm drawing, it's showing me two and two for the rise and run. It's showing me that it's a 45 degree angle and it's showing me 2.8 for the dimension of that wall. We can confirm all of those numbers do match what we're trying to draw, so we'll go ahead and tap enter and it'll place that angled wall on our sketch page. Next, we're ready to move on to the middle wall. So the middle wall is six feet, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap six on my keyboard, tap the right arrow, and tap enter to place it. So the next uh, wall, or the next piece of this bay window is the other angled wall, which is gonna match our first one, right? So it's two down, two right in this case, or two right, two down. Either one should work. But we also have a shortcut key you can use. If you just press the B key on your keyboard, it'll actually draw that angle for you and automatically place it. So you're not having to do two down to right. Press B, it'll mirror the first angle for you and it'll make it quick and easy to make sure that bay window is uh, symmetrical. So we'll go three right, tap enter. I'm gonna tap enter one more time and there is our bay window. Okay, so now that we've went over how to draw a bay window, let's go over how to draw a larger angle like the example uh, at the bottom. So at the bottom, we have a 10 foot wall and it's 45 degrees. I'm showing the rise and run, but we're not gonna use that to create this angle. I just have it there so we can use it to confirm our measurements are correct um, before we move on. So the way we're gonna draw this angle, we're gonna use something we call turn. And what turn is, is you enter the distance of the wall. So in this case, it's 10 feet. Then the direction, does it go left or right? And then what is the degree? In this case, it's 45 degrees. I'm going to switch pages real quick and I have an example here or kind of a preview of kind of how this works. So if you see here, the lines here are showing us the direction. So we're drawing from right to left. I'm going to go ahead and drop my cursor right here so that I can use this as an example. Where you see the R, so if we hit R here, say 20 R 45, it would draw a 20 foot wall going up. If we did L, it would draw it down. So depending on the direction you're drawing, it's, it's almost like you're using your GPS in your car. 
So you, you're driving from right to left on the screen. Would you turn right or would you turn left to get to that direction? If you, were drive, if you were driving left to right on the screen, it would actually be reversed and what you're looking at here, left and right. So that this is just a visual example of kind of the direction you want to go and where the degrees are. So I'm just going to pull my mouse straight up and get it at 90. And as I start moving my mouse to the left, I'll go ahead and snap. So we're at 60 degrees and you can see on screen we got 60. It's showing us 120 on the opposite side. If I keep moving down, all right, we're at 45 here. We're at 15 here. If I pop over to the other side, now we're in the L side and I'm 15 on the top there. 60, 90, 145 if you're drawing this much of an angle. So this should help you to visualize the direction you need to go and um, where the degrees are. So if you're not sure of a degree, you could pull up this chart and look at it and see what looks about where I need to be. And that'll at least give you an idea of the direction and the degree you're looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the other page. And let's go ahead and see if we can draw this angle. So I'm gonna start over here, kind of farther to the right, tap enter, and I'm gonna come eight feet left. So for this example, we have a 10 foot wall. We're drawing from right to left, so it's gonna to be to the right, which would be going up on the screen and it's 45 degrees. So the way I'm gonna draw that is I'm gonna type 10 on my keyboard for the distance. Next, I'm gonna press R for right. And if you look down in the HUD, you should see a 10 foot line at 90 degrees right. It's right to the left of page two of two. So that's showing you what you're gonna draw. Now we don't want 90 degrees, we want 45. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in 45 on the keyboard, tap enter. And now we have a 10 foot wall going to the right at 45 degrees. If you look on screen, it's showing me the rise and run, which actually matches what I have over there on the left. So once we've confirmed all of our measurements, we'll go ahead and tap enter and it'll place that line in the sketch. So that would be how you draw a larger angle if you know what the degree of that angle is. Now, if you're trying to draw an angled wall off of this angle, we can also use turn. So let's say we had a little bump out here and let's say the bump out went two feet left, six feet up, and then two feet back. I'm gonna go ahead and draw that out real quick. So the way we would do it, I'm gonna tap two on the keyboard. I'm gonna tap L for left. I'm gonna leave it at 90 degrees because that's what I want. I wanna come 90 off of this angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap enter. There's my two foot wall. It's perfectly 90 off of that angle. So I'll go ahead and tap enter to place it. Next wall is going six feet to the right. So I'll do six R enter. Tap enter one more time. All right, and then for the second side of this bump out, I can use the same bay window function I use for the angle. So I'm just gonna tap B on the keyboard and it mirrored that first two foot wall at the same angle. And then I'll go three feet left. So I'm gonna do three L enter, one more enter. And I'll go ahead and tap enter to move my cursor so we can see what we drew. So as you can see, we quickly drew a bump out all at the same angle, everything's perfectly aligned using the turn feature. So if you have a situation like this where you have some type of bump out on an angled wall, this is how you could draw it. I hope everyone found this helpful. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. Feel free to like, share, and or subscribe. Otherwise, I will catch y'all on the next one.